you know, back again. Part number two of our many part series, Red Dead Redemption number one. Back at it. Live Twitch. You know the fucking deal. Um, as far as updates goes, uh, I had a really good day today. I barbecued some wings. Smoked them to be exact. Came out pretty good my first time uh, around. Um, yeah, nothing crazy to it, guys. Just smoked some wings. Had a nice little Sunday. Nice to relax. But I guess there is sig something significant about uh, the smoking part and uh, a reason as to why I'm bringing this up. So my girlfriend told me that they're that they are new seltzers made by Bud Light Platinums. And I want to say earlier in my earlier streams, I would drink Platinums on, on air. And when I did, I'd get really fucked up. So, she asked me if I wanted a pack, and of course I said yes. That's exactly what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're going to be drinking some of those new Bud Light Platinum seltzers. And uh, I'm, I've tried a lot of different seltzers in my life. I've tried White Claws, Trulies, Bud Light Seltzers, Michelob Ultra Seltzers, uh, Corona Seltzers. I've tried Happy Dads. I've tried, uh, if you don't see it over here, somewhere over there. Um, yo, 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 what's going on? Happy Dads are, uh, they're mid. I'm about to sip on some of these, buddy. You need to try some of them. They are 8%, but they, you do not taste them at all. Um, but as I was saying, I, I have tried, a uh, cacti and cacti was probably the strongest seltzer that I've ever had. Those are 7% and those were trash. These are 8% and they're actually, they go down like white claws. Um, I don't know, different strokes for different folks. If you don't like white claws or like the, the your basic seltzer, you're probably not going to like these, but these are pretty fucking good. I can't drink shit. Fuck it. Who cares? <clears throat> so this is a, a, a citrus seltzer. Not too bad. This is probably the least one, uh, the least favorite of, of mine. So there's a wild berry and then there's a, a blood orange one. The blood orange one's probably the better one. But uh, yeah, guys, <clears throat> I promise you three of these will fuck you up. They sell them in packs. Of, okay, so check it out. They sell these in packs of six for $8, and each can has 8%. That is a fucking bargain in my, in my books. You're telling me that if I spend $8, I can get hammered? I mean, you, you'll see off of three, three of these, me personally, I'll get hammered. But you're telling me all I have to do is pay 8 bucks to get um, two really good uh, drinking sessions? Dude, say less. That's, that's a fucking bargain for me. Um, Opposed to all the other seltzers that are pretty expensive uh, for 12 packs, and they have like 5%, but this shit has a whopping 8%. This is damn near a fucking malt liquor and pretty close to uh, the the seltzers for uh, four locos and shit, but these are pretty good. Can't go wrong. <sighs> we'll see how fast I pound them. <clears throat> but uh, anyways, guys, let's get it. Let's get into this shit. Or not. What the fuck happened to my audio? Well, that's not good. Hold up, guys. Huh. Well, now I'm having some audio difficulties, technical difficulties. This is not good. That's weird. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna restart my console, and we'll see. Uh, if we can get this shit back on the road. Anyways, how was your guys' days? How are you doing, Hot Pocket? Is anybody else watching this? If you're not doing anything, get yourself a fucking a beer of any of any kind and drink with me. There we go. Now I can hear. But I can't see. Should load up in a bit. Alright, there we go. Alrighty. Now I can hear. 
Um. Yeah, so in the last part, I remember just being fucked up. Um. I remember killing a lot of people. But in this part, we shall figure out what I need to do. I'm going to set up campsite and uh, do what I got to do. What the fuck? In a settlement. Oh, it's because I'm in a settlement. Huh? <coughs> Where the fuck's my... Wait, where am I? I heard some shit over there. What is this? <clears throat> I will say though, you can taste the alcohol in the citrus ones. I don't know if that's just the taste, but you can taste it in, in this one. But not like cacti, dude. Cacti... That's like next level fucking uh, shittery. And be honest with you guys, I'm kind of already feeling a head change, so. The 8% is no fucking joke. So yesterday, <clears throat> uh, if you watch yesterday's part, I was drinking some, bitch, get your ass back here. I was drinking my dad's beers. Uh, he personally likes Tecate a lot. They're pretty good. I mean, I did get pretty drunk off of them uh, last stream, but I did the math. I had five of those. That's yeah. about 22.5 uh, alcohol percentage that went in my system in the span of two hours. And if you do 8% times three, that's 24. So essentially, by the end of the stream, I'll be more fucked up than I was in last stream. So you guys are definitely in for some... some stupidity in this part <clears throat> only thing though is I don't have chips I mean I do have chips but I don't have fucking Doritos hey but big shout out to Bud Light Platinum if you're watching this sponsor me shout me out I fuck with you guys heavy you guys are my shit you guys uh, offer me a way to get drunk very quickly at, not, at a reasonable price. And your guys' alcohol doesn't taste that bad. Like, the alcohol taste is not um, super strong. Which is what I like. Um, Alright, let's go do some Nigel West Dickens missions. Uh, also, too... Oh, fuck, I can't do it. Waypoint. Let's do the waypoint. I'll show you guys what I was going to tell you guys right now. Oh. Hello there. Um, okay, yeah, so <clears throat> what I was going to show you guys <clears throat> were these little um, stranger missions. I know in my GTA walkthrough, I went ahead and did all of my stranger missions, quote unquote, but these I'm only going to do as... I approach them like if they're in my way I'll, I'll do them but I'm not gonna go out of my way to do them is what I'm trying to say what? oh what the fuck I didn't even go to the mission I excuse me excuse me sir you need help big mood mister you alive <sighs> fuck, fuck, fuck god damn it Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise <laughs> be. Yeah, guys, the citrus one definitely has a pretty strong, not strong, but Time you can you taste the alcohol in the aftertaste. These actually do remind me a little bit about the lime Take seltzers Peter, from uh, them, Happy gates. Dads. I'm but I don't know if it's a lime taste. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Hurry, sir! I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be the fuck fine. Do this to Just me. focus. What did he do to that guy? You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. 
done for! Just sit up straight, will you? Head for armadillo, friend! West Dickens health. Uh, press LT to draw weapons while driving. You can aim and shoot normally. You can still control the vehicle. What is your name, friend? John Marston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Pollard twins, Walton's gang! I know who you are! Oh, they're right there. Good Lord! It's those scoundrels once again! Shoot, shoot the dude's horse! Oh, I shot him. Ooh. Nice. Is that all? The praise be. There's still hope. What the hell happened to you? Bandits. Who you? The scoundrels brought me blind and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit if this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. Oh, look at that. They These fucking so smart horses. Still they take you know, the smartphone and all that shit? These are some smart horses. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Oh, shit. At least I met you. This can't be happening. Just run off home. Oh, you coward. I implore you to please stay on the road. I'm not even doing anything, fool. Is that Armadillo? Come on, hurry. Shit. Yeah, I embrace you. For Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. Thank We're you nearly there. To your arms. This is it. You're gonna make it. Oh, oh. where the devil are we? Armadillo. Armadillo. <laughs> we made it safe. You'll be happy to Dumbass. Know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, uh, but I appreciate the civility. <coughs> I owe you, sir. Uh, and I always pay my like, debts. That's a lot of alcohol. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry. Right, it also for it. says. If not, these are. Uh, I'll be your man for. For. Let's get you fixed okay, up. There you go. Made with the gobby. You're my man for. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm under the assumption these probably have two shots of tequila in it. I fucking hate tequila. So, uh, don't ever make me drink tequila. <clears throat> Alright, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? We can do some more Nigel West Dickens. Or we can go back to uh, Marshall John. Uh, come back 10 a.m. today. Alright, well, in that case... Further explore New Austin. Where the fuck is New Austin? Oh, there we go. See, this is in the early 1900s. 1910. Western border states. So, uh, what? This is like Texas and shit, I'm assuming? I don't fucking know. Where is he? Bitch. <laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. <clears throat> Gonna be a bloody job. Oh! 
down the hatch. Hey, wait up! He's just a boy. Bitch. Let's go. Wait, oh fuck. Oh. Just because I fucking aimed at it. I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. Yep. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. Might a lot just of be smoke a dead critter. Too. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. I don't give a Come fuck. Fuck, get up their head on. Bullseye. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Oh shit. Man, this don't look too good. No fucks given. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Oh, we got a new gun. Nice. Uh, I'll just loot these guys. Can I take the horse's hide? No, I can't. You can also hold up the open radio. So what? Winchester? Yeah, this one probably better. <clears throat> what the fuck? I didn't abandon him. He abandoned me. Fuck that guy. Bitch. Alright. Ah, oh, you fucking serious. Alright, let's go. Stay together. How are the McFarlands, John? They're holding on, but that ranch is in trouble. But we dealt with the wrestler problem. For now, yeah. But that ain't enough. They got greater forces working against them. Drew's a rancher, not a businessman. Railroads, motor cars, telephones. Opening a world of new opportunity, apparently. Try telling that to a farmer with no head for business. Or a blacksmith whose customers can buy tools That's pretty for half cool. The I like how they change the dialogue catalog. and it's not the same Giving dialogue over and over again. Will make him unhappy. Taking too many away will force him to do things he should. It's wrong to assume change is always good. Fucking tell me about it. What happened to that girl you was riding herd on a while back, Eli? Look, vultures. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Creamy hot dogs play the new Red Dead boss. Creamy Man, hot dogs. Where have I heard of that name before? I'm not asking for names, but I you sound that Somebody name sounds so familiar. Killing people, they um, drop their gun. But yeah, I do want to play the new Red Dead. I just wanted to play this one first before I play the next one. Um, yeah, I have it. Yeah. So whenever I do play it, I'll um. Maybe the folks at Ridgewood Farm saw something. It'll be a blind playthrough. Ooh. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way Where's around. Here? Men are born, and they're poor. Oh, At least right. that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Yeah, also, too, I got, I got started on it, the new Red Dead. I got started on it, but I, I just never uh, went through with it. There's some more smoke over there. I think that's a side quest. Oh, that's right. I mean, I didn't ask for names, buddy. You could have just uh, DM'd me. Fire still smoking. My bad, G. Scumbags must still be around. Hey, you know what? In that case, that's an excuse for me to drink, right? Hey, let me know how those wings were. I was talking about those wings I earlier. Leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for uh, so here's my next favorite one. This is a blood orange. These are pretty good. 
cover my face because it, it does face recognition. There we go. Blood orange. Let's get to it. it smells like orange. Doesn't really taste like it if I'm be honest, but. <clears throat> but yeah, Carlos, let me know how those uh how those uh wings were, buddy. Sons of bitches! Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Kill him oh, and I know this never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Yeah, it's gonna be a fucking. It's gonna be a fuck fest. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's search the area. Oh, you bitch. Shed's clear, Marshal. It's a bunch of blood, though. Yep, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now this fucking mission is or this thing's gonna be a complete fuck fest. Make me check the outhouse. No one here. It's gonna make me go into the main house. Oh right. Alright guys, viewer discretion is advised if you don't like looking at some fucking freaky shit. That ain't right. Don't no watch this. Board up a barn like this. Break that door now. Yes. Yes. Alright, so ready. so check out the mini map that's right under. Sorry. There's there uh, a little again. X marks, that means people are dead there. Hell yeah. I warned you fuckers. I warned you guys. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Hey, thank the you, Brody. Shout out to the boy the Carlos. The Said here's some good wings. Shooting at me. Fuck. The good part is that this has auto regeneration My for uh, Stay with me. For as far as health goes. Damn you. Fucking idiot, get home. My god, you know how to jump a damn fucking wooden fence? I'm just trying to loot up some shit. Pistol comes in more handy at this next part. I mean, at least it's gonna look a lot more badass. Uh, loot the bodies. Ain't you a pretty little thing? As soon as you can, make a run for the shit. Keep your head down. See what I mean? Fuck, dude. 
I thought I fucking You're gonna be all fucked right. up. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Come on, there you go. How the fuck did I hurt you that bad? Uh. Alright, let's go, buddy. Oh, he got stuck. Go! of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes <clears throat> come on they're gonna get away all right let's find those bastards yeah well shit 50 bucks ain't shit i wouldn't do it maybe it was more a hundred years ago but no what? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if it's just this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. Come on. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve Damn. you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for death. Is that somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. Oh, they know me. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit Oh, there shit he is again. Now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. Do I kill him already? Fuck. You know I did I a lot the last you, part then. But I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. <sighs> Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Boys, here they come. This is bad. Oh my God. Jump, jump, jump. There's a four of them coming down the hill. What are you doing? You get water down there. I doubt that. Oh, 
Oh, they're already cheating. Easy. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> this something makes you still breathing. Fuck, dude, I'm already feeling it. I only had one and a half already. <laughs> Fucking hell. Come on, Bessie, give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Damn. Fuck. I nice see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <laughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. <laughs> Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs> Look at all these bodies I can loot. Oh, wait. Pays twice as much. Holy fuck. That's good. Again, guys, I'm not trying to play this in a particular fashion. I'm just going to go in there, do what I got to do, and get the fuck out of there. Damn, that's horrible. So all I want to do right now is um, just loot everybody. Take money, weapons, <laughs> ammo, <laughs> fucking coyotes. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. What the fuck is that? Fucking coyote right there. Fuck those guys. There's a bunny right there. There's a train about to fucking run me over. I think it's behind me. Come on, hurry the fuck. Oh my god. I hear him. Yeah, look, it's okay. He's gonna come over here. Right over me. It's actually funny because. Like, you know those cliche old ass movies where. Where there's a train and then there's a fucking chick right here and. You save her and all that shit. You can actually do that um, in this game too. Pretty, pretty neat. You can hog tie someone and just drop them in the middle and then they die. I might do that just to show you guys. Guys, there's nothing much I could say or do right now. I mean, all I'm doing is... What the fuck? There's a fucking deer right there. I'm gonna blow his fucking head off. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Ooh, no, that's my fucking horse. Ah, he left. Son of a bitch. Yeah, they're all the way over there now. Alright. Um, I got a set up shop. Ah, fuck, here we go. No, don't shoot her. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you too, bitch. Fuck, man. What the hell am I doing? Sorry about this, partner. Yeah, sometimes that'll happen where, like, They'll set you up or whatever, but and I most of the times whenever like it's a chick asking for help, it's gonna be a fucking setup. Um, beat the shit out of their horses though. Watch. Can I? I know I could kill them. What the fuck? Never mind. Oh shit! Be careful, buddy. <laughs> yeah, 
And uh, you can you can kill him like this too. I can only blame my childhood for so long. Uh, man, like <laughs> I'm not doing this for fun, guys. I'm doing it because like horse hide actually gives you a lot of money. So don't don't think this is like animal cruelty type of shit. You can blame Rockstar for all that messy. bullshit. Don't blame me. I'm just here enjoying my seltzers. I'm not gonna lie though, they taste a lot better uh, earlier. They don't taste as good right now. Maybe that's just my body telling me to stop fucking drinking. Fucking coyotes. Yeah, look at them. I see them all the way over there. Look at them. They're just plotting. And that's what these fuckers will do is that they'll like hide and then they'll fucking jump at you. Dude. But we got some 4K up in this bitch. So I see them before they see me. I hear some gunshots. There's a city over there. That's our modelo. Also, too, there, um, there's like uh, plants that you can pick and shit and then sell them. Oh, there's a dude right there. Huh. I want fucking hog time. Why not? I'm a fucking take a shit. Hello to you. Now here you go. Yeah, at this one I'm just having fun, guys. Like I, I know I should really go do missions, which Get I want to go do missions, but I'm just having fun now. right now. Here's all the coyotes. I'm just trying to find out where those gunshots are coming from. Oh, I heard a fucking rattlesnake too. I just heard it again. I'm gonna drop this fool off a cliff. I'm gonna see if I can do that. Give me the fucking guy. Well, first of all, I need to see how he drops him. Stupid ass horse is gonna die. How do I... Okay, so he puts him right in front of him. So... Fuck! Alright, so. Drop him! Drop him! <laughs> Just drop him right here. Fucking kill him. I really want to take a shit. Fuck! Yo, I didn't know that happened. This no more, friend. Come on. What the fuck? That's horrible. Yeah, th this game has a lot of balls for doing that kind of shit, dude. What the fuck? I, that was that was my first time ever seeing that kind of shit. Anyways, let's go uh, do some more missions. See, the fucking keep shooting. Those are dudes over there, though. But it's not my business. Just trying to set up a basic campsite, sleep it out, go to the next mission. 
Uh, probably gonna get some chips though. I'm craving some chips again. Travel to destination. Yes. Armadillo. Yes. <sighs> yeah, these fucking Bud Light Platinum Seltzers are no joke, guys. I feel already pretty tipsy. So, uh, I mean, they're not bad. Not gonna say they're super good either. But they're just enough tolera uh, toleration for me. If that's even... Let's go. If I can even say that. But it, it, it's enough alcohol for me to tolerate. Not like cacti, that's too much. Yeah, then you can buy the news and it actually has a whole theme of the news. Williamson's gang reign terror, so... Bill Williamson and like all of that shit. The dude that shot me, uh, they have an old article on him. Uh, let's see. Mexican leader appeal for calm. Grave robber captured. Crime. Ugh. Crimes resist. That's a side mission. Uh, people missing in, I don't know. Oh, that's up north. Yeah, so it, it just ties into the what's going on in, in like the store. The store. And the story and all that. So, I mean, it's pretty cool if you, if you have time to read it. I don't. So, I can give a fuck about it. These guys are, uh, drunks. I do beg your pardon. I wonder if I keep bumping into them, like, will he, like, want to fight me? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, then they have a little bounty thing over some somewhere over here. Oh, right there. You can pick it up uh, and accept it, but then you have to... It's like doing a mission. But again, I'm not here for the side missions. I'm here for the main missions. I'm here for the for the main bitch. Mind where you're going, I almost jumped on that hoe. Uh, Williamson. Hey, you! Get to that uh, guy! Come over here! What, bitch? You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a show. Uh, I'm probably gonna die. How would you like it? I'd want it between the eyes. Quick, no pain. Sure, let's do it. Whatever. You don't know me, mister. The only way out for you is down. So this is like the showdowns people will challenge you or like, you know, sudden death things. I don't know how accurate this was back in the day. I mean, I'd assume either this is Hollywood or if it's a real deal. Nah, but I actually want to do this tutorial because you are going to have to do this later down uh, the line. That's the only legal way to kill someone and um, everybody be okay with. It's a form of entertainment to these people, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I'm going to go get some fucking chips. I'll be right back. You guys can enjoy watching this shit. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. <laughs> I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. 
I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. Just like that, we're back, guys. Got my chips. Um, today, reading some uh, some Fritos scoops. Yeah, guys, these are made to scoop shit. I just eat them because they're nice and salty. Made out of corn. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say corn is the cheapest thing that you can make anything with. Think about everything that you've eaten as far as snacks that contain corn. Chips. Dorito chips. Those are, those are tortillas that come from corn. Tortillas. Corn flakes. A lot of things stems off of corn, guys. I don't know if you guys know that, but there's a huge market for corn because it's very cheap and inexpensive to make, and you can make a lot of it. For all my entrepreneurs out there, get into the corn business. While I sip on my Bud Light Seltzer, that beer is brewed from, oh no, beer is brewed from wheat, never mind. But moonshine and all that shit is made from cornmeal, and cornmeal's from chip, I mean, uh, from chips, <laughs> from corn, so. <sighs> Here goes that one, guys. <clears throat> Alright, where are we going? Ridgewood for me. Yeah, so if I remember right, this guy, uh, I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I all he does is like you, to sell shit. John Marston, hoodwinking the wind, and he makes scallops out of their hard earned money. Get yeah. back on the road, we'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood. My dear boy, trying to go full. I may be so bold for heating such ill informed scuttlebutt. But I'll tell them, God, right? Stay on the road. You're as full of wind as a horse with a cub. Why are these guys running? Language. You broke the law. How? <laughs> For stripping. John, let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. I may be so bold. I'm not sure that you are best placed to comment on diet pain. What are you talking about, old man? I am talking about your ill-timed visit to the fort. I was wondering when we get to that. Horses. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? I already saved your life. I certainly don't owe you any more favor. Stay on the road! We're going to destroy the merchandise! Doubt it. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. Oh, I what the you fuck? Were it up worse than it was. <laughs> I knocked get that old fucking cactus. Road. We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood. That I can. John, a more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. Fuck, man, I'm just trying to eat some chips. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our ah, product oh. must stand out. And how does this involve me? For the love of God, try to stay on the road. We're going to use your God-given talent. All and back. Fuck. Bitch, I'm fucking trying. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That's the wrong look that we came together. <laughs> get back on the road. We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood. 
Once I'm set up, bad, I'm charging buddy. nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to form. Eventually, I will call you up to try my talent. After extolling the virtues, I will have Running you a fucking a few napkin. of wonder to amaze and impress the pain. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Before I get there, I'm gonna go get a napkin. Life's good. You know what I mean? But yeah, so this guy, only like, he's a business owner, entrepreneur. What all the what all the young kids like to call themselves nowadays, um, but he's most in, first and foremost he's a fucking scammer, and this is the town that got bodied uh, last night. So double whammy on these guys. What do you want? Be Friends, right back. Hardworking souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism? Lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain. Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. Uh, and again, this is another tutorial mission. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, Best flavor. Well, no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. <clears throat> Your eyesight is greatly improved. Is that not so, friend? If you yeah. say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Bitch, I play ahead, 4K. Shoot I can see that shit from my way. Demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Oh fuck! Wait, he is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. <laughs> Try again, friend. The tonic may still be taking hold. <laughs> The eyesight of an eagle. I've Gratitude never missed. I didn't know that they gave you a second chance. I thought I failed the mission. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these <coughs> Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. A tutorial. Get ready. To you can now lock onto hat. multiple targets by uh, dead eye. One shot can be fired each bullet for good. All right, You're more cooking than a snake. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey, hey, what? You think you can 
put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? Hey, it don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for oh, a shit. of Herculean brawn. Oh, fuck. How do I block? We play a marquee of Queensberry rules. Normally, I'll I don't fight him. I do watch a lot of UFC, guys. I'm just trying to figure this out. Went for the single leg. I've had about enough of you. Let's see what you got. Right. Come on then, partner. I already did that. You want to scrap, friend? Is this how you want it? Time somebody. Ooh. I'm putting That's you down. Barbie. Oh. This is about. God damn it. All right. What's the next uh, tutorial? All right. Let's finish this. How, wait, how do you take them down again? Oh, they don't have a brief in this game. You're bitch. Hit me then, god damn it! Oh, that killed him? Just taking him down? There it is! Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there. Go get it! This ends now! Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? <clears throat> you ain't leaving here alive! Oh, hey, marvelous shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Yeah, it doesn't work, guys. Well, I'm just faded. I think that went kind of well, don't you? Well, I'm just glad that my normal job. I'm already halfway through this one. I've been pounding these murders. actually. Not the likes of you, mister. I might be pretty fucked Something up by like the that? end of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, <clears throat> I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. <laughs> Wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and I, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Uh. Fuck those horseback missions. Broke back bitch. Hello to you. Seth? <clears throat> so you remember how I said the chapel bullshit? Someone like uh, I think this is for rent right here. I don't think it's for buy. Yeah, it's rent. Um Let's go! Yeah, so those chapel mission or uh, the chapel missions. Uh, that one thing that I, that headline that I read on the newspaper about the, the guy stealing the corpse's body at the, um, the chapel or some shit. Um, fuck this horse. I think it's owned by someone. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna set up my basic camp and, uh, yeah. But that's the mission that, that it's uh, referring to, or uh, the news that it's referring to. Mm, what is this? B. Bonnie again? I was going to go far the ranch. I 
I'm gonna finish this beer. Uh, fucking platinums, guys. I thought 6% was a lot. These guys ain't fucking around. Same. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. In the middle of the oh, night. Let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. I was gonna get on her horse. And do I have any horses bought? Yeah, I have a fucking war horse. Quick as you can. Ah, fuck. No! There we go. There we go, baby. War horse right here. These are supposed to be faster, more durable, whatever. Fuck, holy hell, this shit's fast. The great part about this fucking game is that there's no copyrights. Dude. For the most part. Same here, I've bitch. I've got a bad feeling about this. You just said that. I'd like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right. But I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Yeah! Who's that over there? Stay with me! My bad, bitch. I'm trying to build a pyramid. Come on, let's... Daddy! Oh, damn. What happened? Nothing nice. Rest of I guess. Damn, I have no more chips. And you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. I have to go. Come on. It's a bad idea to split up <clears throat> right now. Shut up. What could have happened to those poor men? And the horses were dead too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a... Oh, my God. The barn's on fire. Oh, yo. Ah. Yo. Really? Fuck that townsfolk. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Bitch, let me. Ah, uh, fine. You know what? No, you're right. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's build my pyramid. Help me, will you? This ain't working. Wow. All right, let's. The doors are blocked. We Get need to find another oh, way in. Get to the horse. Stop being stupid. Get Bitch, get out of my way. Fuck your horses. Another tutorial mission? Oh, no. Alright, patience. Patience, Gonzo, patience. Put it out. Alright. Come on! It's oh. getting worse! 
Bert! They're trapped in there. Bro, this was in CrossFit and shit. Holy hell. Shit, bitch. That's what the whole mission is about. I'm choking. Fucking put you. Hell yeah. Crazy. Bro, like an actual water system is so underappreciated, I'm not gonna lie. And I work for shit like that. So You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Martin. Yes, John, thanks. You well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I have got chores to attend to. Hey, hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. What made me realize that is the fact well, that they had buckets of water and shit. Did all I could, Miss McFarland. Wouldn't be a problem Sorry if there was hydrants. The that gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash. Ran out of chips, guys. Well, they don't frighten me. And beer. Good. But three platinums John, of seltzer is all I need. My family owes you a great debt. Yeah. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. True. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Fuck. Ran out of chips, guys. Um, nowhere near done streaming, so. <clears throat> I wonder if they get mad if I hurt their fucking cattle. Hold up. Let's try it. <clears throat> Time somebody taught you a lesson. Chill. I don't think so. Yeah, because that should give you a lot of money too. Um, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna actually go into that safe house that they have uh, for me here in McFarland. Um, I'm gonna sell what I have to get some money. And then we'll continue on to the next mission. And then during that cutscene, I'm going to get some more chips. Uh, I'm going to have to steal my dad's chips. Don't tell him. But, yeah. I fucking hate uh, drinking because it always gives me the fucking munchies. And that's where um, Jack's munchie meal comes into play. But low key. It's a little late, but it is that time of the night. Time is it? I do no fucking screenshot, bitch. That is a. Uh, it's. That? That's eight. Yeah, that's eight in the morning. Let me know if you need any help. Hey, Mister. I'm here to sell, bitch. You take that. Thanks for the visit. Armadillo me. You can take that. You can take that. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can take all of that. Oh, quantity. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, you can take all of that. You can take all of that. Nice doing business with you. See, horse hide is. Oh, horse hide is two bugs. That's not a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of I fucking money. But good, honest mm, yeah, I don't need any of that. Uh, all right, let's go to a random place. Set up, set up shop, camp, whatever. Go to the next mission. What are the missions? Hold up. Uh, so there's that was Seth guy, and then there's a uh, Marshall Johnson. Let's do some more Marshall Johnson missions because apparently I'm a fucking cop now. Ooh, there's some fucking wildlife right there. Or some wild plants. All right, let's set up shop. Go over to the next one. Do that next mission and see, see what's good. Fuck, man. I wish I had those chips. Feening. Feening for them chips. Oh, here we go. Yo! What's up, bitch? I suppose not all men are bad. I won't forget what you did here. Maybe it's time just give them titties. I mean, she is a hooker. <laughs> all right, let's see. All right, let's do that mission. Yo, this isn't even my horse. Come on. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm gonna go get those fucking chips. Be back. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's gonna be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there. You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Whole government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane. Alright, so I'll what I miss? Back. I owe her that. 
All I remember, I kind of got a glimpse of the cutscene. Uh, this is where like a bad guy kind of tells us shit. Oh, yo, this was already open. Fuck. What's up, guys? Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Wake yeah, up, boy. Deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, boy. Damn it. I won't let anything happen to yeah, him. I know this was already open, guys, but. Right. Let's go get this McFarland. Tell me back. some Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. First and foremost, guys. I fucking hate hot shit. But hot Cheetos, they, they pass on my book. I'll probably regret it tomorrow though. Alright, let's get back into this shit. Yeah! <sighs> Fuck that dog. Oh, also two? Why is this sorry son of a bitch? Got so some more chips. Norman Deke Williams the right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshall! I'll be back for you! Bill standards have slipped. Oh. That's right, so. Those criminal guys came over here to tell us, like, hey, free so-and-so or we're going to kill so-and-so. Criminal minds. Deke, they had a man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly Fuck. and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies, you know? And yeah, I remember why I hate hot shit. I laid a finger on this McFarland. <laughs> so fucking good. What is this place we're headed? Double weed, a lonely godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. Fuck you would ask that for. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped. Just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pam. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I can respect that. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Pinning an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. So Blackwater is the more civilized, the two, most as as civilized tell, town in uh, rules, this game. Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway. Just to spite me. If I punish him, And obviously I can't go and it. take you guys there and show you guys because I'm not allowed there. Just yet. But think about wherever you're from, if you're in the United States, think about your downtown or your, like, main city. Or your main street. That's typically what it looks like here. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. What I've seen since I've arrived here... The law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. And why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East get to decide how a man in Armadillo should live his life? Yeah. Well, maybe you're right about that. Fuck, these are shit spicy. Where you from, Marston? Lots Don't fucking worry about folks. it, bitch. I've been living up on a little farm in West Elizabeth for the past few years. All right, let's get into uh, these other chips. Whoa! Yeah. Don't fucking lose me. Don't lose me, bitch. Yeah. 
We're having good conversations. <clears throat> Let's go. All right, what's up? All right, then. Fuck you. Oh, that's a big kid. Oh, that's damn. fucking hot, man. Come on, boys! Over the bridge! Wow, that's a terrible chip. That's now I remember why I don't take my dad's chips. Easy, damn. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town. Make the exchange. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a four to play with. Oh, shut up. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. I like it there too, buddy. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath for breathing? Get these ropes off me, boys! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. Make sure he's dead too. Oh, there's a dude up there. Ah, fuck. I'm just trying to fucking loot some people. Who died back there? Oh, it's him. Where's Bonnie, you sons of bitches? <laughs> Where is she, you bastards? Yelling shit. <clears throat> oh, damn it. No. Get away from her. Come on. I've seen tough nurses. Fuck, man. You're gonna be fine, buddy. The dude that's not dead next to me yet. Thank God, though, I got to her in time. Cut your kid and you're all dead. Well, they're all gonna die. <laughs> fuck. There's one more dude. What the fuck? Buddy, are you okay? Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't Bitch. exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. This is the part where I start looting everybody again. Uh, what the fuck? Dude, oh, it's the guy up top. Yeah, I'm not gonna go up there. Excuse me, mister.
Yeah, guys, I think I'm pretty fucking stacked. I have a lot of fucking shit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, yo, that did fucking hurt me. Yeah, I know when it, oh, I know whenever you kill uh, horses and whenever you kill uh, dogs, this quick. it's looked down upon, and I understand. But want the skin and the fucking money, so. Kind of for trade off. This will fetch a good price. But if you know, if you know anything about business. Take a loss right now, get a bigger gain later. So, oh, because one of those was essentially my mount. Fuck that guy. Or fuck that horse. That was in my mount. I fucking had the war horse. Oh, dude. I don't need fucking red eye. Or blind eye, whatever that shit's called. I have my own eye. <clears throat> All right, set up shop, go to the next mission. We're looking good. Oh, fuck. Bitch. That's funny. <clears throat> hold up, hold up. I want to see something, guys. Oh, you guys see that? Well, my lighting consists of ring lights. So I was trying to put one, like, in the center of it. But it didn't look good, so. Because the Logitech uh, C920 or whatever the code is for this is kind of wide. So you can see it. It's what it is. Pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie. You didn't notice. I have lighting all around me. I have two over here. One straight ahead. Three of them. Real good. The reason why I was fucking around with that one is to kind of give like a better look at the oh fuck no, that's bright. That's not gonna work. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. <laughs> I need your help, Seth. We need your help, me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people 
who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? There's a guy that read on that news headline. Me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. This one does not look good at all. She looks red as a motherfucker. Going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Moore. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Uh. Why? <clears throat> because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. This was sure. weird as hell. <laughs> Where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel different. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Uh. And maybe you'll help me. Maybe. Know this right. fucking dude. Let's go. Horses are over here. <clears throat> Let's go. Faster. Come here, bastard. Yeah. Go and kill you right now, bitch. Take that low. Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talked to them long he after they've been the forgotten point. by every other lie. fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Yeah, Seth kind of kind of has a point. I'm not gonna lie, guys, because if when you die. Obviously, in a uh, new age, in cave, Seth? <laughs> very new dark. age times we leave What'd a will. Say? I, I didn't say but what did they do back then? I just heard shit. you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside four I don't know where Bunny. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke, all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Yeah, I can tell. That I can believe. Yeah. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Yeah, I can do that. Just don't fucking make me do some dumb shit. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now... I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me. You know? 
Here we go. We're here. Fly! Fly! All right. This is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Hold up, guys. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, that's right, bitch. Did it freeze? Leave him away from the shack and Shut the fuck up. Steal the deputy source to become one. I'll fucking kill one of you. On them horses, <laughs> Again, another tutorial mission about cops. Fuck, man. Almost out. What the fuck? Is, this is why I have a war horse. Dumbass fucking horse. an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! The fuck? Get that slippery bastard. I need him alive, though. Who the hell are you? Yeah. I don't know if this is a hog tie or a lasso tutorial. Yeah, it is actually. What this got to do with you? Want to know what's funny? I mean, I think you. it's funny. Watch, well, check this out. Come on. Come I think that's the it though, but I just want to show you guys that. None of your business. Let me go, I'm begging you! You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. What the fuck up? You just wait till I get loose, mister. I'll fucking kill you right now, bitch. Don't, don't threaten me like that. Don't make me give you a beating. Yeah. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. <laughs> Yeah. Seth did sell his own mother. Wait, what? He said he sell his own you mother. Son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece <laughs> till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never cut into a uh, live uh, one before. Uh, 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 odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself. Moses? 
Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. <coughs> I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Yeah, because I have fucking twenty dollars on, on my head. We can pay it off with the telegraph off. Ah! Ah! Best we deal with this now, mister. So if you guys watched my part yesterday, I recall saying that um over at the McFarland Ranch, the trace station was very important. You're about to see why right now. Because if you're an idiot, and if you have a bounty on your head, you go to the train station, any train station, pay it off here. And if you have a pardon letter, even better. Here, this is to pay a fine in my name. I paid it. Well, I mean, I have the money. But you can use the pardon letter and it just clears it out um, at all. $20 isn't much. But I feel like I should have used it only because I don't foresee myself committing more crimes. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. The only thing I didn't like about this game Faster. is how if you commit a crime, it's just not as you it's just not forgotten. It affects you in your fame, it affects you in your honor, it affects you with your bounties. So you always gotta think twice before committing a crime. Now, which I fucking hate. Ride, not like GTA, you fucking kill like go on a fucking killing spree and then the next day whenever they catch you or whenever you use a cheat, or if you lose them, they don't give a shit. Huh. On the reason it told me about the newspaper. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. Is because... Watch. So, uh, people... No, that's not it. Over here. Right there. Grave robber captured, but crime still persists. Which is, I think, this whole article or that little paragraph... <laughs> is in regard of that dumbass that I just worked for. Uh, all right, so let's go Set up a campsite avoid those bullets that I just heard And then start a new mission this might be the last mission guys. We'll see we'll see where we're at uh, Let's see Nigel West Dickens again Say, where the fuck did you take me? Oh, there's some more missions I could do. I don't want. I don't want to do Seth missions. I just rather do uh, uh, this fucker's missions. No. I don't want to do this mission. Good job. Right, let's go do this fucker's missions. 
And, uh, yeah, I'll actually call it that. Hello? What the fuck? That will just appear to no, uh, out of nowhere. Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. Let's have for those chips. With your friend Seth. Oh, yeah, I should be fine. Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, interesting fellow. You don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt? It was an art form valued more highly than literature. I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull, feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. A lot of it. Money? What are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And... I need some danger money. So, let's sell Bro, it surprises me that he can balance that shit. Cures. I drop it after this one. Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I drop it kings. after the third one. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly <clears throat> the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> Come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. Now, sir, do that to breach. Uh, right shotgun. You know what that means. I'm about to fucking shoot some bitches. Company West Dickens. Oh, there's my horse. Marston, you know you're gonna fucking pull out a gun right now. Oh wait, I'm. This is a race mission. Here we are, Dom. Got two freaks. Let's go. Easy does it. Oh, I have to use a cart. <clears throat> Fuck it. You know what I'm gonna do, guys. It's not a question. Oh fuck! I missed everybody. What the fuck? I want to rest people over. Shooting razor spectators will disqualify you. I don't get why. Right, so you, you can hit these guys all along, um, only because they can't kick you off their back. So as you see on the um, on the bottom of my of my screen or of my webcam, he has no more stamina, and I continue to hit him, and nothing's going on. 
but that's because obviously uh, realistically these these horses that that are on these cards were um, whatever like uh, they're not going to kick you off. As much as I would like to run over one of these fuckers, I can't. Because it, it'll be cute. the next checkpoint. Going. Are you gonna fucking Fine. sell some shit or not? Oh, he was selling shit while I was racing. Besides, I think. they want their money back. Bye bye me. Isn't that fantastic? The tears of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels, the fallen rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about dialogue. Sorry if you guys do, but I don't. Done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Right. Perfect. Um, gives me a new lead and also gives me a good opportunity to end this part. Um... All right, guys, I'm going to stop uh, this session right here. Um, yeah, I got a lot done in this one. Um, trying to think, guys. Yeah, I guess there's nothing significant that I can talk about on this part. But anyways, if you're watching this on Twitch, head over to my YouTube, catch up on my first part. It's part number two. Remember that, guys. Um, and if you're on YouTube, head over to my Twitch if you want to watch this live. I try to stay fairly consistent with uh, the times that I do the the streams, but sometimes, like today, it ends up being a little later, so I apologize for that. But anyways, this is Dumzo Danino. Make sure to check me out. YouTube, Twitch, follow, whatever you got to do. <coughs> Subscribe. Like, notification bells, you know the deal. I don't give a shit. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow in part number three of red dead redemption playthrough so until then guys i'll see you guys later dumbo danino signing the fuck out later